that is one of my all-time favourite X Factor co-stars. Even though he beat me by a week, loving him is it? I know, loving him is easy. It's Jamie Hensley from Uni yeah. Jam. You. Did you want? Did you want to see tomorrow out tonight? No, I thought she was going to go because it's always the same week every um, every year. First, there's always a girl, isn't it? She's yeah. sort of like been a bit middle of the way, but I was gutted it wasn't Danielle. Really gutted, yeah. I really wanted her. Oh, oh why? 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 I just uh, she's just a total hypocrite though. Like everything. Yeah. Like, when she went into the house, I totally agreed with like like same sex marriage. Obviously, being gay, I was like. <laughs> But then when she like, um, spoke about a point, I thought well, everyone's in touch with opinion. Mm. Two days later, she's effing and blinding, calling everyone slags and stuff in the house. And it's like, hold on, not only are you a glamour model, but you're preaching that you're staunch in your religion. It didn't add up for me, so... Well, listen, she's, guy. she's still in there, unfortunately, right. for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, what do you think he's going to do now she's got an entire bit of lonely bathtub, to be honest? Yeah! Always oh, oh, in that she's bar. She's going to have a lot of space to starfish, but I think he's going to struggle because he's put all his eggs into her basket like for the last few days. So we can either confirm or deny that eggs will put in any basket. <laughs> but if it did happen, we would have shown it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. We saw that Chris has been given the power. So, Jamie. Do you think the public have made the right choice with Chris? Absolutely. I'm so happy because he's going to twist that house. Yeah. And like the best thing is, if it was like if it was like Pauline, everyone knew. I don't think he could really done it to the best of his ability. Yeah. Because it's silent, no one knows he's going to mess with them. And um, like even when he was sat in the garden talking about them, all speculating is it in that house already? And he already had it. Such a good actor. Like plain face, yeah, no one's gonna exactly. know. What's his job? I well, know. So yeah, he's so maybe we'll give it to the right person. Jim, do you think Pauline was the right choice tonight? Definitely. I think she's. Oh, oh. I think she's horrible. You know, if I was in the house with her, I I couldn't stand somebody like that being in the house with her. I think she's picking on people, and I just don't think it's fair. Uh, James, do you think um, the housemate's going to rumble in me as an actor? It's his job. Um, yeah, you exactly. see that's his job, so he's meant to be good at it. Or if you can't fool them, then he needs to find a new career, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this could go really wrong quickly. Uh, James, listen, like we just said, he has already nominated Pauline. Yeah. Who do we reckon is next on his hit list? Pauline's click. I really think... You reckon? Yeah, just like picking them off. I think because she um, stuck by Helen and Mark so much when she had the power by like giving them awards and stuff, the house saw that, and they were annoyed by that. And I know you can't nominate Helen, but I think Mark's going to be pretty quickly oh. next. You reckon? Um, yeah. Yeah, and either Marlon or Toya. Marlon, so who do you think? Who do you think? Long walk. Uh, listen, now it's time to hear from our panel, Andy. First up, James, what is your question for tomorrow? Right, so obviously we've seen you get with Winston. Yeah. If you hadn't have went out with Nays, what do you think would have happened? I'll oh, trust you! Oh, trust you! We're not in Newcastle now. Well, well I'm not going to ask her how much she benches. You know I, mean? I think we'd probably have more baths together. We'd like right. to do that. Um, I don't know. I think love might have bloomed. You'd never know. I, right. I, I genuinely don't know. Would do you like have gone it. all the way? No, not in the house. I have to wait for him to get out. Yeah. <laughs> wait for him to, to get out and get it out as well, by the sound of it. A few more days. A few more days. A couple more pasta for I'll have to cook for him. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't cook. Well, it's all right. He's I'm all right. making a salad. It's all for you. Jane, what's your question? We saw a massive divide uh, yeah. from the first launch night and the second launch night. I think there was a massive divide between the people. Yeah. Do you think if you all got them together, um, the power would have gone with Pauline, but the public do they would have chosen something from the final six that went in? Ah, oh. I wonder, you know. Um, I think off the VTs and what I know, I, no, I still think they, the public loved Pauline initially, mm -hmm. which is why I'm so shocked that it's just taken a massive U-turn. I just can't believe it. Um, I do think that the public still initially would have been Pauline. Yeah, she's great. She looks yeah. fun. Real work. She's got, Real you know, work. the whole yeah. Bermuda thing going on. She's yeah. a good crack. Rat for Kylie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's really cool. But then clearly it's just gone the other way. Yeah, really <laughs> yeah, Gemma, yeah. anything to get off your chest? Yeah. <laughs> Island. I get it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are the next two people you would have nominated? Ooh. Gemma! Do you know what? It's really difficult. Now I've come out and sort of heard everyone's opinions and voices and things, perhaps it would change that. But if I was still in the house, I probably would have nominated Christopher. Yeah! So what 
boss. And <laughs> slap me. <laughs> Who no, else? Trust me, trust me. Yeah. yeah. Who else would you pop for? Ah, oh, it would have been really um probably either Ashley or Kim. Yeah. Maybe Ashley. Okay. Yeah. She's a bit of a spoiled brat, I think, underneath all the princess yeah. stuff. Oh. Well, yeah, God help me, it's time for me to go into you lot. Matt, the two from the house, Jamie and Gemma, are up in the reality gallery. Guys, what's going on? Right, so Mark is up calling that she should no longer fucking cook and clean. <laughs> and she's annoyed that someone has put her up for nomination. Obviously. And Pauline said that she understands why she's been put up for eviction and it's a revenge thing. So yep. Pauline genuinely thinks this is revenge. Better. Jane, what else you got? Danielle told Kimberly that she is her rock in the house and I think she needs to pick someone a bit bigger to be her rock because they're going to you know, fall to the side a bit, I think. Jen? Well, Jale sat in the garden and repeated it to herself, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Oh. Sad. Jane, you got one more? Yeah, got one more. Ash has told the housemates that he does no longer trust any of you fuckers anymore. So he's been very, they've been very bad with their language tonight. So yeah, there's a lot yeah. of going on. You want a boy bad? You've got young yeah, fans. No, I'm a shame. So yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Jamie and Gemma, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. That was now. It is that time.